there's a whole new breed of gambler. It's starting to piss me off. Saddle up! Who risk everything to haul the most unusual items. Wow! This thing is just an absolute beast. One wrong move, and they could lose it all. But if the bid is right... I'm going a 1,000. Booyah! The rewards can be huge. More money, more money, more money. <laughs> On this episode of Shipping Wars. You are out of service. You don't have a logbook. You don't really know what else to do. Shipment is for a young boy who lost his father. To me, anything's worth helping a kid. It's not even really a shipment. It's a donation. It's something that I'm more than willing to do. No matter what, at all costs, I will get these loads. Nichols holding up a dollar. Let's go. I don't get intimidated because I was raised to be tall. I'm very much an amateur at this. I'm definitely having an open moment here. Yeah. Every time I win a bid, man, it's just like I just hit the jackpot. It's about making money. We're a logistics specialist. It's another day at the office. Oh, yeah. Come here. I go to my aunt's ranch every summer to clear my head and be around the horses. Darn it. Oh. Is a horse getting a bath, or are you? It feels good. That did not look comfortable. You got it cold. Somebody's got to do it. OK, I think you're done. Every day, independent transporters across the country scour the online posting board you ship to bid on their next big haul. First job up for bid, a giant metal sphere made of golf clubs. That's kind of cool. I'm into anything related to golf. Why not ship a big golf ball? It's 8 foot by 8 foot by 9 foot tall and weighs 1,500 pounds. Huge. I don't know what you would even use that for. It's artwork. We look at how much pleasure and ingenuity it brings to the world. This is a sculpture that I'm trying to sell to the hotel industry in Las Vegas. West Palm Beach to Vegas. Sounds like two vacations to me. If it's going somewhere fun, we're more likely to really try and get it. It's going to the Sands Convention Center. This would sell for about $45,000. I'll be there right at the loading dock, bring it into the show, and hopefully, we get it sold. This giant ball is rolling from Florida to Las Vegas in seven days for the convention. Golf clubs are pop metal, man. This isn't a big steel structure. Now, this thing's going to have to be treated, you know, pretty gingerly. Costing probably about $800 to rent a flatbed, plus gas, five to $800. And we're looking at almost two grand right there. I'm going to go 3500 That'll be plenty of money to cover a rental trailer. It's only eight foot long, 30 feet left on the trailer. Get him out of the face. 3300 is getting pretty skinny. It's just over a dollar a mile. Could be problems. I mean, trailer is three feet, makes the whole setup 12 feet. You have different height bridges across the country. Give him a taste of his own medicine, $100. I'm just going to go ahead and play the game. 228. I don't know why the hell these guys are knocking these bids down like this. If you're trying to underbid, you might as well do it a buck at a time. Only be making $100 a day profit. I mean, what the hell? I'm still going to be making like four times the amount of money I normally make. 2200 I'm going to Vegas. Well, this is my absolute lowest I can go. If I could find something to put on the back of the trailer along with that, that would pick it up. <laughs> They're going to bid it down to where you don't make any money at all, and I've got to rent a trailer. What do you want me to do? Knock him out with two grand, baby. I'm out. Got it. I'm not going to transport something like that for that kind of money. There's no way. Let's go to Vegas. Next job up for bid, a Buzz Lightyear coin-operated ride. This is a used kitty ride that a grandpa is buying for his grandson. The grandson lost his father earlier this year, and uh, the little boy lives for Buzz Lightyear and for the Toy Story movie. This will be a wonderful surprise for the little guy. It's a special ride for my grandson. It's really special for Tegan because his dad was killed in a car accident December 29th. Something special to remember Tony by. We tried to get it for Tony's birthday on January 23rd, and that didn't work out. Looking forward to the shipment arriving soon. The shipment is for a young boy who lost his father. You know, every now and then, a load will get posted up on, on U-Ship's board here that's it's not just a load. As close as I am to my dad, I mean, that's it, something that that I really would like to do. This is one of those cases where you've got to say, OK, do I continue the way I usually run business, or do I actually help this boy out? The machine will be traveling from Sun Valley, California to Appleton, Minnesota. 
I could, you know, do this, it'd be 2,500 bucks would be my cost to do it. This isn't for an eccentric millionaire or something like this. This is for a little kid. To me, anything's worth helping a kid. I'm easily a thousand miles away from Los Angeles. I'm estimating two grand just in expenses. Hopefully I can find another load. For such a good cause, I mean, I'm not trying to make money on this. And I can ship this probably cheaper than everybody. Wow. At this point, it's it's not even really a shipment. I mean, it's a donation. You know, I'd, I'd really like to be the guy to bring this thing to this little boy, but 50% less than my cost to do it. I just, I just can't afford to do it. This is the way I feel about it. I'm gonna help this kid out. <laughs> Roy bid zero dollars on that. That's awesome, Roy. You have to help kids. You know, I would have wished the same, that somebody would do that for my son if that would have happened to me. My hat's off to Roy for doing this. I got a lot of respect for him. It's huge. Let's call it a day. Before arriving to a shipment, you need to know, do you have a forklift? Are we going to have to sweat? <laughs> Am I gonna have to get dirty? If I get dirty, is there a sink nearby? <laughs> it takes a lot to maintain this haircut. Chris just seems like he's just too into himself. Holy sh Now that's a huge ball. How you doing, Chris? Glad Very you nice could to meet make you. it. Oh, look what I got for you. Oh, wow. This is the biggest one yet. This is a sculpture made out of component parts, meaning I make the dimples, and then we connect all the dimples together. All artists are slightly strange. However, overall, he seems like a good guy. If it gets dirty, you have a way to give my big ball a little wash? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Let's take a look at the ramp. Is it a whole flat area? Uh, no, it's just the outside ramps. Just Should have spent a little more money and get this thing to tilt. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, Chris, if you quit spending so much money on those goofy haircuts, you could buy a real trailer. Here's how I think we should do it. Two forklifts, lift it up, and then back up under it. you back up underneath it, and we lower it down. I wish my customers were that helpful. Hold on to your butts. OK, here we go. Just watch me. That's good. Come this way just a little bit. You're good. See ya. Good to go. It shouldn't move at all. We'll meet you in Sin City. Oh, you got it. This is a cool thing. This is for this kid. All that matters to me is kids. I didn't realize Roy had a heart. How you doing, Larry? Very well. Is this it? Yes. OK, that's enough. Unplug it. I've heard enough. Oh, there's the real Roy. Anyway. Our guys can go ahead and get it loaded up for you. There should be something put here, built underneath this side, and built underneath that side to keep it from doing this. You got to make sure it's stable, because there's hydraulics and electronics underneath it that if this thing keeps bouncing, it's liable to break something loose. Yeah, those should help. Gonna need a lot more than that, my friend. See? Everybody out there thinks they know what the f they're doing. So who am I? You are the pro. I'll shut up. OK. I love proving them wrong. See what I'm saying? Very good. As center as you can get it, and I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. Stop. Right up against the wall. She ain't going nowhere. Got to say, it's impressive. It'll be delivered. All right. Thank you very much. truck, 21,000 miles, and we're already having a check engine light problem. The truck has absolutely no power. I mean, you can put it to the floor, and it's creeping. This is why people buy a new car. So this doesn't happen. This is really horrible. We got to at least push forward as far as we can go till morning. We're out in the middle of nowhere.
nowhere in California trying to subsidize this charity run that I'm doing for this little kid. Hey there. Hey, Joe. How Joe. you doing? Good. That's pretty scary. It's a 1928 Chevy paddy wagon used by the San Jose Police Department with bullet holes in it. I'm selling it because I don't want to restore the car. That paddy wagon's just like you, Roy. Oh. It's old and crusty, too. It's awful flimsy. I'm afraid I'm going to yank this pig in half. Those walls are falling apart. If this breaks, it'll just cave it in. Those walls are ready to fall off at any minute. If it shook all the way across the country doing this, they would end it up on the floor. I got some rope out there. Hey, Randy, let me just think for a minute. Probably didn't pass too many math tests having to do math like that. Maybe you should take your shoes off and start counting. Get me like 10 eight footers. What do you think, Joe? It's solid. Perfect, just like me, right? If you say so. That I do. Bro, I hope you don't break your arm patting yourself on the back, buddy. So test drive has right. been done with the truck. I mean, yeah. it's... we just want to make sure we're doing everything right. We had to stop because we were topped out at 55 miles an hour in fifth gear. This sucks, being stuck in the middle of nowhere with a messed up truck. I mean, the truck is literally struggling to pull <laughs> an empty ball. We're stuck here at the dealership until they can figure out what's wrong. It's going to be a three-hour computer diagnostic before they even begin to touch anything. Bet you wish you had my van now. Well, maybe not. We're now easily 1,200 miles behind the schedule. And we'll see how it goes from here. Feel it starting to shake already? Tell me I'm dreaming. I'm sitting there running with the air conditioner going so Muffy wouldn't overheat. All of a sudden, it just started smoking a little, starting to smoke worse and worse and worse. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Hey, I'm seeing a common theme here. Wow. And I like it. All right, damn it. Hey, Dan, the truck keeps going downhill. What if I get there like 5 or 6 o'clock Monday evening? Monday's going to be disastrous. I can't wait for it to get repaired. You ain't going to drive that truck too far with a blown water pump, I guarantee you that. Come on, Roy. Those things were built to haul your boat out to the lake once a week. What did you expect? Do you have an above-bed mount? Well, and look what it gets you. I think fast, I move fast. I still have to deliver this Buzz Lightyear ride. Nothing else matters to me. What's the verdict? All right. Finally, the truck's back. It's fixed. It's time to make miles. Let's head to Vegas. There you go, buddy. <laughs> On top of the delay yesterday, now we got to get in the truck and hump it to Vegas. These repairs have cost me time, other loads, and most importantly, gambling money. But at this point, if we have any more problems, we will be late. This old ball's got to make it. Man, I cannot believe our luck on this run. Instead of fist pumping in Vegas, you might be fist pumping in jail tonight. You should have stopped at the port when you come into Arizona and got a permit. I understand. Do you know what a logbook looks like, ma'am? OK, find me one, please. When you drive professionally, the law wants to know when you've been driving and when you've been sleeping. That's a lot. You well, if you know where it's at, I have no idea. Oh, I told her to just handle it. Don't BS me, OK? I told her, to, I told her to handle the paperwork part. Mm, of course, Chris. Blame the girl. So you don't have a logbook at all? We have a logbook. It's... You haven't filled it out, have you? You don't have a logbook? Are you kidding me? You can't drive this. Bottom line is, you are out of service. Understand? Understand. Getting shut down. All that had to be done was a uh, hot 
thought she had all this stuff organized. I don't even care if I take the blame. Yeah, we're we're at the TA right here, like right off the exit and pulled over. I'm so over it at this point, I'm just ready to get to Vegas. I mean, I don't really know what else to do. We have to find a CDL driver that has hours left on his logbook so he can drive this last 100 miles of this trip. You gonna go this way? I'm the one stuck asking one of these drivers if they would come drive our truck. Oh, I, I can do it for you. Are you sure? Yeah. And this is Chris. Very nice to meet you, Jeff. So, um, uh, he said he'll do it for 200 bucks. Oh, that's, so. that's a lot better than the <laughs> tow truck. You're not like secretly a murderer or anything, are you? I always make sure someone's not a murderer before I get into the truck. You're a lifesaver, buddy. Appreciate that. Thank you for burning up a couple hours on the lot. We got to Vegas late tonight. The convention center's closed, so we're going to deliver tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. You too. You too. It's about time. Before you go any further, inspect this and make sure that no damage has been done to it. What are they going to say about a pile of rust? Yeah. I hope the buyer wasn't expecting his car in one piece. That is awesome. How much you pay for it? 3000 <laughs> 2999 too much. Right, just go with it. Yeah, it's awesome. There you go, my friend. I appreciate it. Get out of the way of all these trucks coming in and out of here. We got three trucks behind us right now. There's immediately trucks pulling in behind us for this convention. What the hell happened? Oh, come on now. He seemed like a pretty cool guy at the pickup location. We're here to get a job done, dude. At the drop off location. He turns into golf ball Zilla. Get that fucker off that truck. No, no, no. Leave that one. This kid's on his own time. All of a sudden, he's like, you got to hurry. You got to hurry. You got to hurry. These trucks backed up here. You need to get out. Jesus. Looks like you got all the clubs on there and you didn't lose anything. That's a good thing. All right, I think we're ready to do this. Oh, Running a little late, but we got it. Don't spend it all in one place. I was trying not to. Come on, come on. He drove me nuts. It looks great. I cannot believe it. All the way across country. Now we're going to sell it. Who's going to buy that? Somebody with a big nine iron? <laughs> there it is. Hi there. How you doing, Tim? Got a shipment for us today? Yeah, a little one. We're really excited for the shipment finally to be brought to us. It's in memory of our son, Tony. We first tried to get it for Tony's birthday, and that didn't work out. A month later to the day was Tegan's birthday, and it didn't work out. Right behind the wheel, we finally got it. As long as he ain't scratched, I don't care about the floor. Good things like this make it easier for all of us to take that step forward. Trying to push it forward, this end down. Yeah, like, we'll 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 around, around. Uh, we're not gonna clear here. We're tipping, we will. Good. Yeah, Daddy, you know what, T? Grandpa's gonna put a sticker on him. And it's going to say Daddy's name on it. <gasps> the whole point of this was I wanted to see that kid's face when he got on that ride. If you don't have a kid of your own, you can't get the gist of why this meant so much to me. How you doing, my friend? You all right? Yep. Something, something special. Oh, it's tough. 
Well, he's told me a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you do. This was a very important shipment to me, because I'll never have a chance to do something like that again. Have a safe trip to your next journey. Nice meeting you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Roy's kind deed, unfortunately, did cost him. He managed to still bring in $1,300, but after the truck rental and expenses, he was left with a loss of $900. Chris and Robbie didn't fare that well. They only brought in $2,000, and after repairs and expenses, made a profit of $580 over eight days. I think we look pretty good together. We need to find some more stuff coming here. Look at that! Buddy, can you tell Roy thanks for bringing Buzz to us? Give him a hug. Good man. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. No? You can do it. I scare most people anyway. It's all right. There's a whole new breed of gambler. Starting to piss me off. Saddle up. Who risk everything to haul the most unusual items. This thing is just an absolute beast. One wrong move, and they could lose it all. But if the bid is right, I'm going a thousand. Booyah! The rewards can be huge. More money, more money, more money. <laughs> On this episode of Shipping Wars. This is a nuclear missile. This is a missile. I need it done in two and a half hours. I'll give you $5,000. Are you kidding me? It's breaking. Idiot. When you order something on the internet, make sure it'll fit in your building. <laughs> No matter what, at all costs, I will get these loads. Nichols, holding up a dollar. Let's go. I don't get intimidated because I was raised to be tough. Uh, I'm very much an amateur at this. I'm definitely having an old moment here. Yeah. Every time I win a bid, man, it's just like I just hit the jackpot. It's about making money. We're logistics specialists. It's another day at the office. Oh, yeah. What are you looking at? Well, my... We got one load. I've already booked an arcade sign going from Wisconsin to Ohio. Now all I have to do is fill the rest of my trailer. Ah! Bye. This ain't safe. In this business, big weight equals big money. Now that we have a much bigger truck, I'm ready to find something that's heavy. I'm ready to see what she can do. For as much as this thing costs, it better make us some big money. My plan for today is to try to get rid of Chris and Robbie. Since they got that new truck, they've been kind of stepping on my toes a little bit. And I want to get rid of them. I love my me days. This is exactly what I need today. I was so stressed out. Spa days are not cheap. So I need a good payload. So I met this girl in Georgia. My only goal right now is to get somewhere close to go see her. I just need something to get me to my Georgia peach. Every day at the same time, uship.com posts special timed auctions for select top level transporters. What? You want to go find something on you, ship? First job up for bid, a vintage car diner booth. This is cool. The booth is a 1957 Ford Fairlane. It's a one-of-a-kind piece. Pulp Fiction had kind of a car booth in it, so I decided to try and build one, have it for parties and stuff. I'm glad it's going somewhere where other people will enjoy it. What a way to piss on a classic. We're opening a 50s-style diner in Whippany, New Jersey, and we need this for our opening. It's our main showpiece, so it's really important that it gets here fast and in mint condition. This 2,000-pound dining table will be traveling over 1,100 miles from Hudson, Wisconsin, to Whippany, New Jersey. And I thought Pulp Fiction was just fiction. Well, let's give this thing a go, Daddy-O. I definitely have to have help unloading this. I wonder if I could find some hot Jersey boys to help me out. Of course, it's going to New Jersey, the epicenter of class and taste. Whatever, it's all money to me. It says it's really fragile and extremely heavy. This is the perfect load to test out our new rig. We can handle heavy. I don't want to be a but Jersey is a far cry from Georgia. I'm not gonna mess with this. Looks like the rookie didn't last very long in this game of chicken. I'll go 3,500. I'd probably have to run a bigger trailer. And if I do end up having to hire someone to help, this really isn't the payload I need. Well, this load will make it worthwhile to go to the armpit of America. And pissing off all these other wing nuts will just be a bonus. Come on, is Roy doing this just to be an asshole? All right, that was a rhetorical question. 3,300. I'm not ready to roll over yet. Come on, you old greaser, go home. Who does Roy think he's bidding against? 
I'm gonna have to hire a forklift. That's making that money look a little less sweet. I'm out. Well, Muffy, let's show these howdy duties who's boss. 3150. Make it happen. This one's still mine. New truck, no load. That's great. Sweet taste of victory. And now they have to find someplace else to get their truck payment from. We've been driving like a bat out of hell to get up here and pick this up. Hey, no bite. How you doing? Good, how are you? Still alive. Where is it? <laughs> it's in this garage right here. Pulp Fiction, wasn't it? That's where I got the idea from. Wow, at least of a perfectly good car. Clearly not a fan of the cinema. She wanted it delivered in one piece. Well, that's my choice, not hers. Oh. Don't enter any dance competitions, Roy. OK, so what do you want me to do? If you just push this way. I got it. <laughs> What's with Roy having all the senior citizens do the work? Ow. <laughs> oh, right. He's old, too. <laughs> Okay. Perfect. Just like me. How long did it take you to get out to New Jersey? We're on a bit of a time crunch. Should take it yourself. I was told that I have to work on my people skills. How was my personality with you? I thought you were perfect. So I can tell people out there just to shut up and leave me alone, That's right? That's right. You better say my people skills are good, or I'm going to kick you in the throat. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Have too. a good one. Thank you very much. That's going to suck if I have to put that thing back together there in New Jersey. Next to ship.com item up for bid, a Polaris missile. That is bad ass. I've seen this. I hauled some tanks for the guy that owns this thing. I made some good money last time. I bought the missile about five, six years ago from another collector. I've had some health issues, and I'm retiring right now. I'm just cleaning out a lot of my collection so other people can enjoy it. It's a 20,000-pound cylinder. It's not rocket science. <laughs> what weirdo wants this? This is the first nuclear missile that America produced in 1962. It's going to be used in a film. We've got to have that ready, finished, painted, cleaned up. If I don't get it delivered quick, I lose customers. This piece of military history is being sent from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, to its new home in Flushing, Michigan. This very well could be the most badass thing ever put on a trailer. This thing is heavy duty, so it deserves some heavy duty pricing. I think I'll start by blowing Chris and Robbie's high hopes up. Still not close to Georgia, but this is cool. Who's got two thumbs and wants to ship a big missile? This guy. There ain't no way I can haul this. These guys just want to see who has the bigger trailer. I'm just going to mess with their heads. This is a huge missile. Kind of gives me missile envy. Almost. This thing's going to need a crane, but it's a short distance. There's still some good money in it. Mark and Chris think they're so macho. I bet you that mohawk and mustache are compensating for something. Jen can't handle something like this. And leave it to Jared, he'd blow up the whole Midwest. $3,400. Put this in your pipe. I guess I'd have to hire a driver, maybe. Oh, shit. Nuclear weapon. One more low bid before I bow out. Take that, suckers. Jen's got to be messing with us. I mean, why else would she still be in it? We got ourselves a little World War III here, baby. Pew, pew, pew. I had my fun. Well, I'm going to match these guys. I got a history with this guy. I think he'll remember me. You certainly don't want to put a bomb in the hands of Chris and Robbie. Mark just matched us. I'm not going any lower. Let's let the buyer decide. I pretty much should have this. That lower ain't got nothing on us. I got a good feeling about this. Hell yeah! Are you kidding me? Whatever happened to customer loyalty? This load is the bomb. Yeah, but you're never allowed to say that again. Chances are you have a missile laying in your backyard. You got to at least support the... Well, there is the warhead. Now that is a big ass missile. Let's go take a look at this thing and figure out how we're gonna get it loaded. I just ain't made out of it. Steel? 
Knock, knock. Who's there? Kaboom. How you doing, Chris? Eric. Very nice to meet you, Eric. When you lift this up, I'm thinking a crane just sets up on the other side, booms it up. So that's how just... you had it set, was a crane? Yep. Are we seriously going to have to rent a crane? Uh, we'll have to make a call and get a crane in. Were Chris and Robbie thinking they could just pick this missile up and toss it on the trailer? Do you have anything that's available today? Uh, we have one that we could bring over there. I know I didn't hear that right. 1200 bucks for an hour's worth of work? Yeah, you heard that right. That's half our pay on this. So you want the big boy loads, huh, Chris? Well, you're going to have to pay the big boy bucks now. Is this the crane coming up now? We're dropping some serious dough on these cranes. This load better go smooth. Let's go meet the crane guys, Jix. Chris Hanna. Rick Brooks from Eisenhower Crane. This is it. Straight to the truck wash. This thing is filthy. I've got an image to uphold. Chris is a little OCD when it comes to cleaning his truck. That thing is nasty. Hands up. Is this the first load you take it on your new trailer? It's the heaviest load that's ever been on it, if that makes any difference. Nice working with you. Very Thank nice you. meeting you. Thank nice you. Safe trip. Money today. Yeah, we got work to do today. This arcade sign I'm picking up weighs 3,000 pounds, so I had to hire some movers to help load it. What, Roy? <laughs> How you doing this morning, Jimmy? Good. Here's the beast. No big deal. First thing we're going to do is we're going to unload all this timber, and then we're going to move that car all the way forward. You going to stand here all day? You going to help? Uh, I'm the owner of five star movers. I don't care who you are. Okay. Whoever's here who helps me work. Okay. This guy's got another thing coming if he's just going to stand there with his thumb up his ass. I need you to come right here where this join is. Hello? I need you to come in where that join is. OK. Slow, slow. Just roll forward. Oh, oh, oh. Almost lost an appendage there, Roy. Yeah. Time to get these idiots out of my way and get the job done. To be honest with you, I had this figured out before I even got here. Cocky SOB. 20 foot shelf. All right, gentlemen, come over here. Nothing happens to the car. We understand each other? Yep. All right. Are we going to leave it sitting here like this or what? No. Oh, keep going, guys. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I never would have imagined you could have got it up there. Everybody out there knows I'm perfect at what I do. Talk about a rear end collision. He sat on that and broke it, didn't he? I'm right Hold on, on, wait a minute. You need to come here. Yes, One of sir. your boys just sat on this and swung around and broke that. Okay, if you say so. What the f do you mean, if I say so? If the owner of that comes after me, yeah. I'm sending him after you. A little more work to do on those people skills. I need a signature here as customer. As soon as you write down that the end sign was broken by one of your people, then I'll sign it. It'll be a cold day in hell before I pay for somebody else's mistake. 300, right? Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, so we're about to stop at a truck wash here in just a couple miles. I can guarantee that Chris has been thinking about washing this truck ever since he saw the dirt on that missile. Remember, boys, always keep your missile clean, presentable, and free of any dirt. Oh, it's Bennett. You left your bag in the bed of the truck. Soap. She's calling me right now to fix something that is right beside her. You didn't think about getting out of the damn truck and just doing it? How am I supposed to get out? Like, I can open the door and they're just going to know to stop spraying. Idiot. For the love of God, somebody save the hair gel. <sighs> prissy. Yeah, I'm the prissy one. She didn't want to get wet. 
If Chris isn't talking or smiling, I know he's pissed. Well, I'm in one of the worst states in the union. Dropping off this car table, get it out of my truck. Hi, I'm Dulce. This is Hello, Nelson. Sir. How you doing? You take good care of my item, right? Oh. Gentle is Roy's middle name. Where's it going? It's going right here. Right All right, do I have to reassemble it? I was told that it was like one piece. Four. Oh, oh my God. God. It ain't coming through the door. Yeah, it's coming through. Why doesn't anybody ever listen to me? Well, it's already bending. Go, go, go. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, my God. Keep going, keep going. Go. Oh, my God, <laughs> this is a nightmare. Well, there's a good tagline. Shipping with Roy. It's a nightmare. This is actually three inches wider than the back the is. Back? Yes, that ain't coming through the door. When you order something on the internet, make sure it'll fit in your building. All that work you're doing on improving your people skills, it's really paying off. We stand here and look at it all day, no, or we no, can figure out what to do no, with it. We can figure out what to do with it. The only way to do it is to stand it up on its side and then roll it in. The front of this car weighs 2,000 pounds. So if you put it up on its side, it's going to get hurt. I ain't guaranteeing shit at this point. We're going to do this. Me, this is going to suck. <laughs> Roy, you should be a motivational speaker. Oh my god. Now slowly roll it to us. Whoa, stop. Slowly. Stop! Lay it down, hurry up! Which way are the ladies down? Towards you! Now go forward. Did the door crack? Bondo cracked. That's why I don't like doing this shit. I'll be damned if I'm responsible for any damage to this thing, especially when the buyer can't use a tape measure. That's pretty noticeable. No, you did an awesome job. I saw how difficult it was. I saw how hard you guys tried. I... Compliments are a dime a dozen. I only accept cash. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. I'm not a doctor. I don't have any patience. That was a pain in the ass, but we got it done. I'm paid. That's all I care about. Uh -huh. All right, well, here's where it goes. Hey, how, how you doing? doing? Robert. Chris Hanna. Thanks for dropping off my missile. I appreciate it. It didn't bother us at all. <laughs> Radioactive things don't bother you. Not with that hair, anyways. Hey, now, Colonel Khaki, don't be insulting the Hulk. I was backing up a nuclear thermal warhead. It's thermonuclear warhead. Look at these hands. Yeah. I don't wear gloves. Yeah. <laughs> he does the glove thing. He doesn't want to ruin that manicure. Oh, this guy's hilarious. Real comedian. And I'm sure you got a permit. Stay active. You don't need a permit for this. Now, if you'd have bought a little bit bigger missile, maybe we'd have oh, needed one. now we're talking missile size. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's a tomboy at heart. You'd never guess right, it. looking at it. What are these two staring at? You'd think they'd never seen a girl unhook a thermonuclear missile. All right, very good. It looks great. Looks much cleaner than I remember it. You're welcome. No extra charge. So you said you'd only take cash, so here you go. Here's cash. <laughs> My wife's a stripper, so. Ugh, where have these dollar bills been? To the bank and the car wash we go with all our work. You're going to wash that money, right? <laughs> exactly. Here we are. You Jim? Yep, I'm Jim. How you doing? How you doing, Jim? It's a I'm pleasure Roy. to meet you. All right, who's here to help me unload this thing? Here it comes, guy. Set it down. I want to see what it looks like. This thing's massive. OK, let me ask you a question. I got a safe that's 20 to 25 minute drive from here that I need moved right over into this room. How much are you offering to do it? 
How about five thousand dollars cash? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. What? I'll give you five thousand dollars. I need it done in two and a half hours. For every fifteen minutes that you're late, you owe me a hundred dollars back. This guy's willing to pay five grand. What the hell's he got in it? Then again, what do I care? How much more is it going to cost me for all of you guys to go with me? Okay, we'll do it for three hundred. Deal. You got it. Can I roll with you? In my truck? It's not going to be as easy as he thinks, OK? It's a big save. No, I love being a whore and doing anything for money. Oh. Ugh. Mind scrub, mind scrub, mind scrub. Here we go. This thing is huge. No problem. Let's try it. You are the owner, right? Perfect. Yeehaw! Roy's a little too good at getting safes out of buildings. You ready? Yep. Come on, baby. Hey, let the winch catch up. The wood's breaking. Watch out. Keep going. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> <clears throat> There it is. Boy, I want to say thank you. You did a magnificent job, and I was overly impressed. And it takes a lot to impress me. Just doing my job. Et voilà, c'est fini. Roy brought in a hefty $11,500. After labor, lumber, and other expenses, he still raked in $9,930 for a four-day run. Chris and Robbie didn't fare nearly as well, collecting $3,000 for the missile. Their cost for the crane rentals and other expenses left them with a thousand dollars profit for a two-day run. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Dad just made you some money. I didn't know where I was gonna get the money for your food. Yeah. I don't need a bath. Quit. It's like a bull. She's just blowing smoke at you. She's ready to ride. Chrissy. There's a whole new breed of gambler. It's starting to piss me off. Who risk everything to haul the most unusual items. Fire in the hole! I've never moved anything of this caliber. One wrong move, and they could lose it all. Well, But if the bid is right... Yeah! Uh, boom! Rewards can be huge. More money, more money, more money. <laughs> On this episode of Shipping Wars. I am shipping two guillotines. Oh, it cuts a bunch of human heads. You can't drop these gongs, you can't dent these gongs. Well, who would want a gong? You can't sell this right now to me. Please tell me that's not what I'm pulling around. I don't get intimidated because I was raised to be caught. I've been driving since birth. Coming down! There you go. What can I say? I'm awesome. I'm very much an amateur at this. I'm definitely having an old uh, moment here. Uh, it's just me, the truck, and the road. You guys need to get that back on there. I got places to go, people to see, let's go. Time is money. I want to get it loaded. <laughs> We're going to knock him out of the water. Yes! Yeah. Every time I win a bid, uh, it's just like I just hit the jackpot. Today, I want something with some big miles and pays me some big bucks. I'm looking for a real load, none of this hot shot crap. Let's see if these guys can go toe to toe with a real pro. I got to get on the road no matter what the cost. If I'm sitting here, I'm losing money. Being that we're a team, we're going to use that to our advantage. While the other guys are spending money hiring movers and staying in cruddy hotels, we can take turns driving and keep running through the night. Yep, keep the profit in the family. I don't have the patience for a load of headaches. I'm looking for a load that's high profit and low stress. So I can stay cool, calm, and collected. These guys won't be able to outbid me today. These other guys treat this job like a vacation. I'm here to compete. Some people say my mouth gets me in trouble. <laughs> I don't give a what they say. I'm going to win a load. But if I piss some people off in the process, all the better. Them. Every day, uship.com posts special timed auctions for select top-level transporters. First item up for bid, three large gongs from Thailand. We have three prayer gongs from Thailand. We love to have them for longer, but that way we have more space to garden more and do more martial arts here. The gongs are fragile, and if they drop these gongs, it could change the sound of the gong forever. These are some big-ass gongs. 
Gongs Unlimited is the premier store for selling gongs all over the world. You can't drop these gongs, you can't roll these gongs, you can't dent these gongs. You gotta treat them like a baby because we've got one of our top customers coming into Lincoln, Nebraska. This client is only coming in for a short time, so we need these gongs to be on time and up perfectly for her. These giant gongs must travel from Tempe, Arizona to Lincoln, Nebraska in two days in time to reach a potential buyer. Look at the size of these things. This is exactly the load I'm looking for. Big, delicate, and expensive. Prayer gongs, huh? None of these dip have a prayer when I'm in the game. $33.95. They weigh a 1,000 pounds. Let's hope it means huge profit. These would be great for my meditation. If I meditated. Oh, man. That gong's as big as my apartment. But luckily, so is my trailer. 50 bucks says Jared's head makes the same noise when you whack it with the gong mallet. $31.40. It's time for me to crash this party. $3,099. Well, these things will make it in one piece if they're handled by someone who knows what they're doing. Lucky for them, I got my together. $30.50. I feel like I really need this load for my peace of mind. Decent cash to move some giant symbols. What about $2,700? I concur. <laughs> amateurs. I'm supposed to be doing the pissing off here, not the other way around. Dang, the newbies are really starting to chip away at the profit. That's what I used to do. Deep breaths. <sighs> Stay the course. You know, beyond movers, we have like 400 fuel just to get there. There may be two of us, but there's only one bank account. We're out. The sound of victory is getting louder. From where I'm at, that's over $500 in fuel just to get to Tempe. Don't let the gong hit you on the way out. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were trying to make money here. I'm out. Failing might be the smart move. These guys are like parasites. They just keep hanging on. This is mine. Ding dong. Your gong is gone, Jen. Come on, good vibration. Yes. Oh, good guy. I've got a really tight deadline. I've got to get these things loaded quick to get to Nebraska. I'm here early, so I hope this guy's ready. What is that noise? Let's just take a stab in the dark. A gong? Hello? What the hell? Oh my gosh. Shirtless. What did I just walk into? I'm Jennifer. Oh, Jake Mace, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry I'm a little early. That's okay, we're just finishing up a sword routine here from Tai Chi. If you can wait just one second while we finish up. Okay. Grab and cut, breathe out. I've got to snap out of this. We have to go through this Tai Chi sword. It's called Tai Chi Jian. Well, would you mind if we could you show me the gong so I can get started? Absolutely. Focus, Jen. So these are the prayer gongs from Thailand. These guys are about 12 footers, but this is the big daddy. So this one is 16 feet tall. We could do a little meditation session, have you hit it while I meditate, if you want to give it a few smacks. Oh, money. You know, I would love to, but I, and I think that the movers are here, so let's go ahead and get started. Luckily, they remember to wear their shirts. I can give you guys a tour of what we're growing and show you guys some animals and my plants. Did he just say animals? There's a turtle. Can I pet the turtle? Of course, come on over. Giant turtles? What is this magical place? <gasps> He's an eating machine. <sighs> can this place get any better? Look. <laughs> oh, look at those feet. Yep, it just got better. Giant bunnies. I love you already. Hey, Jim. We need your help over here. Man, he just harshed her chi. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and get this taken apart. Down, down, down. Down. Easy, down. I don't need that log. Watch it! So <sighs> you might need the peacock's head. <gasps> that was the peacock's head? It's right about here on the other side. Oh my god, this load is falling apart before it even gets on my trailer. Is this gonna make it? That's up to you. You might need the peacock's head. <gasps> 
That was a peacock's head? That was the head. I don't have time to worry about a broken peacock. I am so far behind schedule. Come on, guys, we need to hurry. Watch out, watch the corner. I gotta go, I got a lot of miles to catch up on. Thanks. Have a safe trip. I didn't think it was gonna take that long. Second item up for bid, two full-sized wooden guillotines. I am shipping two prop guillotines. The guillotines were used in an old show we had here running for a long time. They are about 13 feet tall. They're very old, but they do work. The guillotines are going to a collector in Vista, California. Guillotines? Who has guillotines? I'm having two prop guillotines delivered to me from Las Vegas. We have a lot of movie props, so these will fit right in. We have a lot of customers waiting for this type of prop. Whoever's transporting these has to make sure they get here in really good working condition. Otherwise, they're just not going to get paid when they show up with them. These guillotines must travel over 300 miles from Las Vegas, Nevada to Vista, California. Two giant guillotines. This is crazy. But they're not quite the big load I was hoping for. 1,300. That shouldn't take long, only two of them. Load them up and, and be there same day. I don't see a problem with those. Those actually look like a pretty easy load. We'll take that. 298 miles, not far at all. It slices, it dices, it cuts a bunch of human heads, and still cuts a tomato, 995. You know, back in the good old days, they knew how to get done. This is a prime example. I love Vegas, who doesn't? But it's gonna cost a chunk just to get there. This is it. We're gonna swipe in here. Come on. At this price, we're paying to take the load. I'm going to my local casino where I have better odds of making money. Here's hoping I get lucky at the blackjack tables. I'm out. The money's dead. OK, I'm not going to cut and run yet. Any last words, Jared? 750. And with a name like Dusty, you'd think he'd give up easier. I'm better get medieval. Just one final try. I finally made it to Vegas. I gotta pick up two guillotines. Guillotines, I don't know how you say it. You say tomato, I say you're a moron. It's probably gonna f this up. I'm uh, just excited to pick this up and get it to California quick. I can't even imagine though what kind of person owns a guillotine. Hey man, how's it going? Hey, you here to pick up the guillotines? Yeah, man, and get them loaded up and get them out of here. Come on, let's take a look. Man. Yeah, this is one of them, and then uh, I got one back here in the prop room. That's kind of awesome, man. What, what do you use that for? Uh, it was a prop for a show. They took a man's head off. You don't say. It works? Yeah, they both work, and they have to be in working order, otherwise he doesn't want them. Well, can you show me? Absolutely. <laughs> I would love to see that. Ready? <laughs> Keep your hands away. Isn't it supposed to come all the way down? Hang on, let me just try it again. Well, that didn't really do anything. Is, is the safety off? It's wooden rope. I, I got to get my guys down here. They got to fix it. I, I can't send it out like this. Dare I ask how long it takes to repair a broken guillotine? It's going to take at least a day to get my guys down here. They got to fix it. And it's just my luck, man. I'm here on time for an easy shipment, and it can't go. What Jared picks up in Vegas stays in Vegas. Can, can I get some more money if it's going to take another day? I don't have any money, Jared, but well, how about this? What if I could get you a job for a day while you're here? What kind of work you got around here? Well, it's Vegas. I mean, you ain't stripping, if that helps. Well, I might be uh, better at that. When in Vegas, let me call my buddy. We'll get you some work driving around Vegas. Come back, we'll pick these up tomorrow, and we'll get them out of here. A mystery job in Vegas from a guy with guillotines. I think I would have rather stripped. You know, tell him what kind of work I'm going to be doing today now. Oh, no. Really? Please tell me that's not what I'm pulling around. I think this long shot just crapped out. I'm supposed to do a side job while I'm waiting for these guillotines, but I ain't liking what I'm seeing. Seriously? Tell me that's not the side job. Hey, you Jared? Yes. I'm supposed to do a job for y'all today, I guess? I've got yeah, some... got this uh, mobile billboard here taken up and down the strip today and tonight. 
<laughs> so six hundred dollars. Oh, it's six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. I'm listening. If you want to make another hundred bucks? Pass out some flyers on the strip too. Seven hundred bucks out the door. It's a deal. Awesome. I'll I'll do it all. Well, now we know the price of Jared's dignity. Seven hundred bucks. This is gonna be a long night. Jared, come on. We've all had Vegas nights like that. <laughs> Actually, no. Not exactly like that. Sweet sight, bro. Yeah, man. People are still pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's pretty. Yeah, I think this is a good place to put out the flyers. Hey, guys, grab a flyer. Some things bleach don't wipe off. Hey, what, what happens in Vegas doesn't always stay here. Let it, let it stay. Stop STDs, yo. You have Bad. one? No, I don't have one. Sure? Not positive, but I ain't been tested lately. Hey, kids, let this be a lesson to you. Don't gamble with your side jobs. Stop STD! <laughs> this is Jennifer. This is Andrew. Come to the Kind of checking in where you are. I'm um, actually, I am um, in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa Fe is about like 800 miles away from Lincoln. My gong buyer that's stopping here, she's here for two hours. Well, I'm doing the best I, mean, I can, you know? I mean... Here's the thing. Don't stop stretching your leg. You know, don't stop to urinate. Oh, my gosh. I feel like my inner peace is starting to wear off. Just please get here before this lady arrives. All right. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I am peeing in my pants as we speak. I definitely don't want to do what I did yesterday again. I just hope these things are ready and I can just load them up. Uh, hey, Jared, <laughs> is this thing working? Yeah, I had my guys working on it all night. We're good to go. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's load her up. These things are already a day behind, and I have six hours to get it to California. Careful. We just got this thing working again. Don't re-break it. That's a good idea. <laughs> We're losing daylight. Get there by today. Man, I'm so glad I got there. The guillotine work, got it loaded up. Now I get this thing to California in one day make some money. I busted my butt getting here. I'm a few minutes late. Hello? Jen, where are you? You said Ken. I've got guys here waiting to unload these things. Please get here. I got this lady coming later. Okay. We're going to be right outside waiting for you. Okay. okay? I'm hurrying, okay? Bye. Great. I hope nothing's wrong with this gong and I don't want to have to deal with Andrew. Come on, come on. Jen, we gotta just get this unloaded. Let's do it. Okay, this is gonna be a blast. I'm here two seconds, and this guy's already stressing me out. <laughs> Come on, guys, we gotta get this done. We got money on the line. One, two, three. Come on, we gotta hurry. Ooh, I know it looks like a tire, but it's a. It's well, a gong. I understand it's a gong. Yeah. This guy is getting on my last nerve. I need to go to my happy place. Please, Jen, don't hurt my gong. Okay. Oh, forget it. Let's just do this so I can get paid. Okay. Turn to the left. Isn't this the washer? Wexel. Wexel. Okay. We got to get number three done quickly. Slow. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, yeah. um, do you think that you could inspect these gongs? Can I go ahead and get paid? Layla, good Thank to see you. you. We just finished up just in time for you. Look what I got here. Yes, I see. Exposed bolts. And look, you had all day. It's not sitting all the way there. Look at that. But now wait, Layla, the piece de resistance. There is not a larger gong in America. This is 84 inches in diameter. 84 inches. There's a peacock. We couldn't fit it up here. There's a peacock on top. Come I want to see the. Let's get the peacock. Bring the peacock out. <sighs> I should have gotten paid before she showed up. Now, the peacock is broken. This is the peacock head. If this lady doesn't buy these gongs, I'm screwed. That looks pretty sad right it's now. It's a sad peacock. You can't well, sell this right now but, to me. But... You can't sell this right now to me. We're going to fix it. It's all beautiful. Listen to it. Listen to it. I've heard of tough customers, but this lady scares the shit out of me.
Hold it. What do you think, Layla? It's good, right? The wood is pretty messed up on these. You see that? But I love the gongs. I'll take all three. Deal. Music to my ears. Andrew, can I please get paid now? We got the gongs here. I made the sale, and you helped on that. Okay. So. It was nice meeting you, and I'm glad I got them here. Oh, man, I'm just ready for this run to be over. I just want to get there, drop these things off, and be done with it. Oh, I think I see the place. Man, I really hope these things work. I assume you're Jared. Yeah, man, what's your name? Chris. Chris? I was expecting yesterday, what happened? They weren't working, uh, and he wouldn't let me take them. Oh, yeah, I'm not real happy about them being here a day late, so. And if yeah. they're not working, I'm not gonna pay for them. They should be working now. Let's get them unloaded and see if how they work. I like this guy. I was expecting to have them working. All right, so we gotta fix both these top things Yeah, I gotta sure. put the wheels back on both of them. No problem. I'm paying a lot for these for my customer, knowing they're already sold, but they have to be in working condition. They're probably going to use them right away. I think this guy should get ready to do a scratch and dent sale. I'm going to get these for free if these things don't work. Oh, they'll work. Let's hope these guillotines are ready now. A little problem there. I mean, they were they were just like that when I picked them up. Man, if you knew what I had to do to get these here. I don't, I don't really care what you had to do. <laughs> this seems like it's pretty fresh, too, but I guess I can live with it. As long as these both work, we're good to go. No All problem. Right. Come on, of course it's gonna work. That's pretty cool. Holy oh, sh oh my god. Guillotines. Let's drop that back down, and I don't think that was screwed into anything solid. A few loose screws? Welcome to Jared's world. <laughs> okay, now it's gonna work. That's deadly. These both work. Yeah, man, Here's I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you, man. All right, thank you. Nice to meet you. Jared delivered the guillotines for $680. He earned a reputation and another $700 with a side job in Vegas. Minus expenses, Jared's gamble paid off with a profit of $1,088. Jennifer earned the entire fee of $2,390. Minus movers and expenses, she cleared a profit of $978 for her two-day run. Imagine yourself connected to the center of the planet. Thrust, exhale. That was really cool. One, two, three. This will be you if you're late by a day next time. Guillotine. Guillotine? I don't know. I'm just going to head back to North Carolina. Happy and STD free. There's a whole new breed of gambler. Starting to piss me off. Who risk everything to haul the most unusual items. Fire in the hole. I've never moved anything of this caliber. One wrong move, and they could lose it all. Whoa. But if the bid is right. Yeah. Uh, boom. Rewards can be huge. More money, more money, more money. <laughs> On this episode of Shipping Wars. We have a dragon puppet. Time to show him who's the cream of the crap. Mother oh. Oopsie. I've ordered the world's largest butter sculpture. How the hell would you even move this? Is butter supposed to crack like that? It's the attitude. Hey, well, you have an attitude too, Missy. I don't get intimidated because I was raised to be tall. I've been driving since birth. Coming down! There you go. What can I say? I'm awesome. I'm very much an amateur at this. I'm definitely having an old <laughs> moment here. Uh, it's just me, the truck, and the road. You guys need to get that back on there. I got places to go. People to see. Let's go. Time is money. I want to get it loaded. <laughs> We're going to knock him out of the water. Yes! Yeah. Every time I win a bid, man, it's just like I just hit the jackpot. first rodeo. If I see something I want, I'm gonna force my competition out. If there's profit to be made, I'm taking it. We're able to go after the loads that are too big for the little guys, 
yet we're still able to undercut the big guys. We can handle anything the big guys can. If they want to haggle on price, bring it. If the load pays, we're going after it. I'm ready to make some money and roll over anyone that gets in my way. If I see a big load, that means big money. Well, hell, if a small load wants to pay, sign me up. I don't take from Mark. You know what? This time around, I'm gunning for him. At least until the money hits the I don't mind a challenge sometimes, but I also need to make money. It doesn't take a math whiz to know when a load ain't worth my time. So today, I need to focus on cost per mile. I got to work to make money, but I can't take these piddly loads and barely put change in my pocket. I'm looking for that balance, and if I see it, I got to get aggressive. Every day, uship.com posts special timed auctions for select top-level transporters. Let's see what we got. First item up for bid, the world's largest butter sculpture. I can't believe that's all butter. My name is Sharon Buman, and I've been doing butter as a medium for about 20 years. This particular sculpture is of Big Tex. He's a Texas State Fair icon. He greets everyone as they come through the door. Two years ago, he had an unfortunate accident. So I created a butter sculpture in honor of Big Tex. It's the largest butter sculpture to date. My name is Brian Black. My wife and I own the Longhorn Saloon. I'm going to put on a show with my band, and we're going to bring Big Tex to Bandera, Texas. This sculpture, uh, it's a one-of-a-kind piece. There'll never be another one like it. So I said, we've got to bring this to Bandera, you know? The most important element of transporting a butter sculpture is keeping him cold. Butter must remain cool. Well, yeah. The shipper's got to get this here in time for the concert, or I'm going to deduct $100 for every hour that they're late. This statue must travel 296 miles from Dallas to Bandera, Texas. How about some world record prices? 3100 bitches. Tell them, show them who's the cream of the crop. 2900 Seriously, who needs that much butter? We could totally find a way to undercut them. Maybe we could pick up a side load of giant lobsters. Ugh, mother They're killing this. I can't believe they're lowballing it like that. I knew a guy with a refrigerated truck that owes me a favor. That could save me money up front. I'd still have enough after rentals to make this worth my while. That yeah, wouldn't even get me to Texas in the first place. Let's just mess with the little guys like they do to me. Seriously? <laughs> Let's hit him. 1300 Todd and Tamara took the bait. My work here is done. I probably better follow. No profit, no point. All right, baby, he is gone. Now I got to get rid of TNT and Blondie. Come on, I call nastier things than butter. I have experience, and there's still money to be made. We got this. Yeah. Take a hint and leave. I know you want it, but I got it. I can still grease my palms with some cash here. I'm not letting this one go. Woo! Are you kidding me? Jen, that sculpture is going straight to your thighs. Cha-choo! I'm picking up the world's largest butter sculpture, and the U-ship ads that to keep this thing cold, so I'm building a giant cooler in my trailer. I a lesson about keeping shipments cool. This is such a letdown. I feel like I've learned from my mistakes, and I'm hopefully going to be able to transport this with no problem at all. I know this thing is big, but it can't be that big. It's butter. Oh, my gosh. Oh. How am I going to move that? Hi, you must Hi. be Jennifer. Yes. Pleased to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, my God. Is this just strictly butter, or is there something underneath it? Solid butter. This one's 4,000 pounds. This was our Guinness World Book record attempt. 4,000 pounds? Like, you just go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of butter? No, Jen, you have to sculpt it out of the world's largest butter stick. This is, I don't even know how we're going to move this. This scares me even looking at this. Well, I'll tell you, I feel so much better that you have a refrigerated truck to transport it. Truck? No one said anything about a truck. Well, I don't have a refrigerated truck. On the ad, it said it just needed to be cold. But it didn't say it had to be a truck. Oh, boy. This is going to be good. My understanding was that you had a refrigerated vehicle. No, but I'm going to build insulated walls and put a bunch of ice in there. Ice is not going to work. Ice will just melt. This can't happen. This is off. 
This can't happen. This is off. What about dry ice? I've used it. It's a possibility, but I'm still not completely sold on this. I will make sure that, that there's tons of dry ice. I'm willing to give it a go. Great. All right, Sharon, go ahead and start cutting up big ticks. I'm going to get the hazmat suit. OK. Getting messy is part of the job, but I'm not about to become a human butterball. Get it all the way through. Is Jen hauling butter or cooking meth? You look lovely. Welcome to my butter world. Careful, Jen. You're in the realm of the butter queen now. This is our cutter. OK. Before Big Tex gets onto my trailer, he's got to get out that door in pieces. Just push straight down. We'll have to cut the base by hand. Push the length of the knife down. Oh. Can you get all the way to the edge, you think? Yeah. Come on, Jen. This should be as easy as cutting butter. OK. We need to get these lined up. We're going to start pushing them underneath here. We need to be loading these things onto my trailer, not greasing up cookie trays. Oh. This is going to take all day. There's no way I'm going to make it there in time. Oh. Second item up for bid, a full-sized dragon puppet. I'm the director and fine arts coordinator of Prospect High School. And we have a dragon puppet that we are renting for the musical, and we need it shipped out to the next company. So we just have to be very careful. If it does get bumped around too much, it could start to rip. Oh, look at that, a huge dragon. The dragon is going to be a part of our theater production. We need the dragon to arrive here for that final rehearsal, and we need to give the kids an opportunity to work with the dragon during their rehearsal. I did some drama in high school. I got this. If the transporter does not arrive on time for that final rehearsal, our production falls apart, then I will be deducting $100 per hour. Hour. This stage prop needs to travel 751 miles from Mount Prospect, Illinois, to Williamston, South Carolina, in less than 24 hours. Hell, I can make some coin on this flying lizard. Or at least burn everyone else trying. Ugh, Mark's biting. You know, if he wants this, I know I definitely can swing this. Picking up in our high school? I'm gonna have to figure in some hazard pay for this one. 24 feet? This ain't no piddly load. Could this go on my flatbed? I'll need to rent a rent container. They're all going after this dragon. Let's make him work for it. All right, enough drama. Consider the skull cracking over, because this load ain't paying. I'm out. Mark's out again? If this goes any lower, I'm going to have to bail also. Hell, I'll go to high school. At this distance, I'm still making serious money. Jeez, if you want it that bad, just take it. I'm out. Man, they scorched the profits on this one. Yeah, but we're still in our sweet spot. Oh, I'm trying to make money here. Oh, come on. I'm shipping this. Put it in my trailer. I am taking this right. Booyah! I got this. You think you're cool, Samco? Bye-bye. Whatever, you ain't got no bus. I started trucking in 2008. I guess what I like most is that I'm my own boss. Nobody's around telling me what to do. It's just me, the truck, and the open road. I'm going to pick up this dragon puppet, I guess, for some kind of school play. And I hate school. Let me guess. You weren't actually there a whole lot. Just the thought of a high school makes me want to throw up. Ugh. Here we go. Oh my god. I feel nervous. I hate school. Oh my god. That thing is huge. Hi. Hi. Mr. Morton? No, Jeremy is fine. Oh, but you're a teacher. Mr. Morton's good. Oh, that's nice. Respect. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Justin. Jessica? So the neck and the head are coming off, right? No, they can't come off. So this whole thing is staying this length? Yeah. Deer, meet headlights. How big is the trailer you brought? It's 20. If it's 20, I think we're, we're in trouble. No, so this could be a problem. All right, let's try it. Let's yeah. see what happens. Jessica will try anything once. Sounds like our high school motto. OK, watch the door to the left. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just heard something snap. Way to pass the buck, Jess. You know, you have to help load this, right? All right, now we're going to the side. The side, here. OK. Watch out, guys. Now comes the real challenge. Yeah, we need all hands on deck for this. All right, we ready to lift? Watch your watch head. Your watch, head. Your head. Watch, your head. watch your head. Watch your head. Face down. Face. 
Almost there. I'm kind of worried this thing ain't gonna fit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That ain't gonna fit. This thing's too big. On, it's theater. Improvise something. Maybe we can angle it. Uh, it's good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can angle it. All the way to one side. Yeah, all the way here. Ooh, fits. Yay, it's up here. What do you want, a gold star? That's good. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect? I bet she hasn't heard that from a teacher before. You're all set? Yeah. All right, please, please, just be careful. Just make sure you get it there on time. Come on. Bye. I'm just glad to be out of there. On my way. This sucks. I'm sitting here pushing, and it's not going anywhere. Now we're running out of time. It is four hours to Bandera. I need to be on the road. Why is it not moving now? I don't know. Damn it, Sharon. You're the butter queen. Act like it. We gotta speed this up. Now, when in doubt, you got a big hammer. Is butter supposed to crack like that? If you break it up too much, are you able to put it back together in time? That's a good question. No one's going to pay me to deliver Big Tex in a body bag. What is this? OK, no way that is on me. You know, I'm shipping this, and I'm going to be responsible if anything happens to it. I'm pretty conscious of that. Man, from Butter Queen to Butter Bitch. If we don't get this hat cut off soon, I don't see how we're gonna make the deadline. What do you wanna do? Well, they gotta do it now. Do y'all know what you're doing? Now it's a matter of getting the plywood. Holy uh, I'm still making good time, but I gotta get this drag into this, like, kids' armory or something. I mean, I'm cutting it close. This does not look good. I don't know what's going on with this traffic, but I'm really starting to get pissed. We're in Kentucky now, and it's hotter than balls here. My air conditioning isn't working. My shirt is stuck to me. I'm going to have to peel it off. Easy, sister. This ain't Vegas. This sucks. This is a nightmare. This traffic isn't good for my deadline or my truck. My engine's starting to warm up, and I hope I don't overheat. Holy I wonder if Michelangelo had the same problem with marble. We were anticipating this. You know what I was anticipating? Getting on the road by now. We got to get this out of here. Come hell or high water, it's going down the road. Wind it around the bottom. OK, good. Hold tight. There you go, now it's right back. Back up. You're good. Let's get this in refrigeration, guys. Um, we can only move so fast. Tell me about it. Girl, you do not want to get her all turned up. I want to wrap this as a whole bundle, a whole OK, unit. why don't you do that? Because you're worried about this melting, so this probably needs to go on the trailer now. You can lecture me on cutting butter, but you will not tell me how to do my job. It's cooler, and it's got to be down to 34 degrees when it arrives. Look, is that all butter right there? Somebody want to give me some popcorn? It's dangerously warm in here. This is softening beyond yeah, belief. I know. That's it's... why I'm like, to be honest with you, I told you the longer we wait, I just. Well, this is just not a, a refrigerated system. Yeah, it didn't say truck, though, on the, on the shipping, the listing. So you Well, said... usually refrigerated transport means refrigerated truck. And you truck. said that you shipped it in a cooler before one of your things. So I mean, you said it worked before. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? Every minute we are here is a minute I'm not on the road. Let's go ahead and start on the head. Are we over his head? Wouldn't be the first time. Off this head, let's go. Sharon, let's go open this up. You'll help me. Holy Oh, my god. We've got melting butter. Hey, Jim, I'm a little help here. 
I need to have a refrigerated truck. I said that in the beginning. I asked you beforehand, you were okay with this. You were confident you could make this happen. It's not hey, did happening. Hey, did we or did we not discuss that before it went onto my trailer? It's the attitude. Well, you should be lucky you had me as a transporter. Any other transporter would have walked. You have an attitude too, Missy. Nancy, you have an attitude this too. This is my work of art. Exactly, and I'm the one transporting this. This is not gonna go. This load is canceled. Keep your butter. I'm getting my money. Sharon, I don't need to take this load, but I have to get paid. I am not paying uh, you for I transporting get, this. Well, it's not coming off my truck unless I get paid. Get ready to move this off. I don't think so. This load is not coming off my trailer until you pay me in full, Sharon. I have a client to deal with. Here's your money. Get this off. I wouldn't have thought Jen had the balls. Take this in before we get any more melting going on. This is such bull <laughs> Looks like the cop up here is blocking off the left two lanes. Freaking cops, man, they're always making me late. I mean, really pressed for time, and I gotta get this load there. Traffic. I really hope this rehearsal hasn't started yet. Stupid <laughs> Jessica? Yes. Hi. Let's go outside. Looks like Jessica may have to stay after class. They've already started rehearsal. Okay. What took you so long to get here? This is our last rehearsal okay. before the show starts. Okay, but we're, We okay. need to get it done now. Okay, I'll start this. We got a princess. We got a dragon. Jessica, you gotta hurry. I wanna get it done now. We got a drama queen? It is raining. This is gonna be pretty good. So we need everybody in the trailer to get this thing out. Jessica, the rain, this is paper mache. We cannot mess this dragon up. So let's hurry up and let's get go. It inside. Oh! Shippers like this are exactly why dragons are extinct. Drop it down. Here you go, Jessica. Get the... I got the head. Clear. Clear. Rehearsal hasn't ended yet, so there's still time. Is it stable? It's gotta get in the front. I left my windows open. Oh my God, this was supposed to be an easy load. What the? F this is a f nightmare. Now I'm cutting it close. Oh wow, you are soaking wet. I know this. Jessica, rehearsal's over. My kids yeah. are leaving, and we don't have the dragon together. I, well, I got here as fast as I could. That's gonna be a D minus for the load, and an F for effort. Do you want to just do a little walk around inspection? I feel like any minute she's going to take a red pen out and start marking X's everywhere. Like, come on, there's nothing wrong with it. Let's go. I think we're done. Oh, good. So I'll just take my pay and be on my way. You ain't getting off that easy. You were late. You were supposed to make it rehearsal. Kids were going to get to practice with the dragon. That didn't happen. We're gonna have to deduct $300. I can't do $300. Can we just call it 100 Yeah, let's do it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your show. Yeah, break a leg, like all of them. This is just a big cluster. Jessica secured a winning bid of $1,330 for the dragon puppet, minus a penalty and other expenses. Jessica made just $390 for a one-day run. Jen took in $825 for the sculpture, minus cooler supplies, dry ice, and expenses. Despite not moving the wheel, she turned out $465 profit for one day's work. I wish the GPS would tell me where to go, riding around like I'm sightseeing. Something tells me you ain't the sightseeing type. What? Are you talking to me, dry ice? What's that? She's a witch. I agree. What? You want to go get a margarita? <laughs> Me too. Let's go. There's a whole new breed of gambler. It's starting to piss me off. Yeah. Who oh. risk everything to haul the most unusual items. Fire the hole. This thing is just an absolute beast. One wrong move, and they could lose it all. But if the bid is right, Woo. Oh. <laughs> Rewards can be huge. More money, more money, more money. <laughs> this episode of Shipping Wars. Those pumpkins are big. If these pumpkins aren't here, we are in deep. 
you can't fix, dumbass. We have one of the original sets for Star Trek Next Generation. You're kidding me. And this is the TARDIS console from the Doctor Who TV movie. Who? Huh? Moment of truth. This conversation is rapidly coming to an end. No matter what, at all costs, I will get these loads. Nichols, hold up a dollar. Let's go. I don't get intimidated because I was raised to be tall. <laughs> I'm very much an amateur at this and definitely having an open moment here. Yeah. Every time I win a bid, man, it's just like I just hit the jackpot. It's about making money. We're logistics specialists. Just another day at the office. Oh, yeah. I can tell immediately if a load has a profit in it or not. If there's money in it, it's mine. This stuff today isn't big enough and profitable enough for me to make a good living. I'm just going to drop the price down and watch these guys fight over the crumbs. I'm sick of being beat by these other guys. But I have to admit, they're better transporters than I am. If I could channel the skill of all my competitors, I could dominate. You know, financially, I don't have time to wait on the perfect load. Today, I'm going to kick into high gear and beat the shit out of anything and everything that comes along. We've been losing a lot of loads to Jen lately. We gotta shut that girl down. Bring it. Every day, people put thousands of challenging shipments up for bid on uship.com. Oh, yeah. First item up for bid, a Star Trek bridge and Doctor Who TARDIS console. Oh, I can't believe people own shit like this. We have one of the original set pieces made for Star Trek Next Generation, so it's got to be treated with a special care because none of this can really be replaced. I used to watch Star Trek all the time, but I don't know anything about Doctor Who. I'm the owner of the TARDIS console from the 1996 Doctor Who TV movie. The console is a one-of-a-kind piece, and it weighs over 400 pounds, and it's packed with electronics. Paul and I both agreed that if we shipped together and paid half and half, that that would be the way to go. We've got to get it in Vegas on time, and if that doesn't happen, the Trekkies are going to be very unhappy. And none of us get paid, none of the transporters get paid, and we're in a lot of trouble. These priceless pieces of television history will journey over 1,700 miles to separate drop-off points in Las Vegas, Nevada, and Burbank, California. Pickup in Houston is Spanish for a load of traffic. But for 66.25, I hablé Espanol. Collector's items with two separate clients, they're going to pay. Certainly not going to fill my trailer. But for 6,600 bucks, I'll haul an empty trailer. Mark knows bidding, how to keep his profits up. I'm going to hug his bumper. I am worthy of a big payday. Jen, you're not getting this? 63.99. 1,700 miles, that's about $800 in fuel, but it's still good money. Let's kick this into warp speed. Jen's giving it all she's got, Captain. What is wrong with you, Jen? Idiots. You don't know what you're doing. I'm going to make the old spawn of Satan earn every penny. 56, 66. Mark's probably using some smart, delayed bidding tactic thing. That's kind of awesome. I will get this. No way, Jen. She can barely hook up a trailer. These idiots just want to haul this for free. I'm out. 5,200. So I go all the way down to Houston and all the way out west. Yeah, not for that kind of money. I want this, but I guess I better follow Mark here. It's just Jen and us, babe. Let's sweat her out. They're still in? We'll match her. They'd never pick her over us. Bye-bye now. Game, set, match. Oh, whatever. Let's show the deal. <sighs> Got it, babe. We're about to pull into the convention center here to pick up all the Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, some console. Uh, who knows? I don't know shit about sci-fi. But picking up two loads from one location could save us light years. See what I did there? Oh, that's like karate uniform. It is. We're boldly going where no shippers have gone before. This is kind of overwhelming. So is the convention of anything with a costume? OK, so this is Star Trek stuff. Right? Where's the Star Trek stuff at? You got any idea? No. 
I don't see any Doctor Who, no Star Trek stuff. You go ask him. You know anybody by the name of Paul? Oh, hi, I'm Paul. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. So, so where is this? This thing's called the TARDIS. This is it? Yeah, it's, you've never seen the show before? Never even heard of it. Never, yeah, the show's been on for 50 years. Doctor Who? What does it but, do? You can travel in time and space. The dark force is strong in here. This thing actually has to be tipped on its side in order to get it outside, unless we have an easier way. And there's a crate that this goes into, a specialty built crate. So I guess number one thing is we need to find the crate. Okay, I'll right. show you where the crate is. Um, oh, you know what I need for this? I need... Uh... It's big. Jeez, that is a lot of wood. I have a problem, guys. That crate used to be a small forest. If you can break down the crate, there should be room for the crate and the TARDIS. All right. <laughs> Just barely, barely. Lift. All right, here she comes. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, good job, guys. Now, I got to meet this other customer. Right, this Star Trek thing is supposed to be pretty brave, right? Uh, I'm sure we have seen it by now. There's Star Trek stuff over there. See? Houston? Yeah. Chris? Hey. How we doing? How you doing? So show us what we got. This is the Enterprise Bridge uh, from Star Trek Next Generation. Uh, do you watch Star Trek at all? This is about all we know, right? Yeah. Uh, you did it backwards. <laughs> you did it like the gang sign. It's the Trekkies. <laughs> now, there's a gang that would strike fear in the hearts of no one. Let's start loading. Heavier than it looks in Houston, I think you might want to hit the gym one day, buddy. It doesn't make any sense to be moving plywood around. I shall always be your friend. The gang sign? What a weeb. <laughs> Next uship.com item up for bid, a collection of giant pumpkins. You're kidding me. We're shipping some very large pumpkins today. The pumpkins weigh anywhere from 1,000 pounds all the way up to 1,500 pounds. They're a live, organic fruit. Those pumpkins are big. I am the producer of the jack o Spectacular, the country's biggest jack o fest. If these pumpkins aren't here for the kickoff of my Spectacular, we are in deep These Atlantic giants are extremely fragile and must travel 388 miles from Canfield, Ohio to Louisville, Kentucky. I'm going to start high. You know, these things are super fragile. It's going to take a pro to move these safely. Man, I'm a little bummed I missed out on that Vegas run. But I'm going to stick with my plan and hang with Mark. 400 miles, forklifts, and a day's work. I'm right near the pickup, 1999. Where Mark goes, I follow. For the sake of Halloween, I should move these pumpkins. Not so fast. Idiots just want to haul this for no money. 1,800 is my bottom line. 1,700. Well, I'll leave it to Jen to kill the money. I'm out. 1,650. Oh, crap. <laughs> It's like watching idiots battle for the grand champion of dumbass. I'll stay close, but I got to show Mark I'm serious. I need to run, but I don't need to lose money doing one. I'm out. Out of my way, lightweight. I'm not going anywhere. Frickin' jack o -lantern. You know where the door is. Yes! Hide your pumpkins. Jared's coming. I think I'm going to start practicing what all the other shippers do. I'm not going to be late. I'm not going to give a discount. I'm turning over a new leaf on this one. It's time to get my pumpkin on. I should be able to take four pumpkins, no problem. Hey, how are you? Good. Tim Parks. I'm Jared Joyce. Nice to meet you, nice Jared. Nice to meet you, too. Pleasure's mine. Have you ever hauled a giant pumpkin before? I have not. Come on in here. Wow. These are giant, aren't they? But I'll tell you one thing. Once they're on that trailer, they're yours. They're oh, not yeah. my liability. Some of these have some nicks and scratches. What would Roy do? Did you take pictures and stuff of this bar before you loaded it? I didn't. Why? Well, uh, 
That's just not. Ah. That's the way you need to do things so you don't get sued. I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures of these. Oh yeah, baby, work it, work it. Pictures aren't gonna matter for when Jared drops off a bunch of pumpkin pulp. Hey, let's get it loaded up so I can get on down the road. All right. Yeah. Whoa, a little jumpy there, buddy. Tilt it back. Yeah. Easy now. This kid's gonna kill somebody. Come on in. Come on in. Come on, let's go. This guy's bossy, but if I'm gonna be like Roy, I gotta not care. I don't want to push it to Louisville now. Let's watch what we're doing. Or shank him in the neck. Stop. Yep. That looks good. You proud of yourself? So what are we going to do with the fifth one? There's five, not four. Five pumpkins? You got to be kidding me. This is BS. There's five, not four. That wasn't on the order on the website. What would Chris do? There is an additional $1,000 that will need to be paid. Hello? Travis, there's a fifth pumpkin. That wasn't something that was agreed upon. I mean, basically, I'm going to need some more money. Oh, my god. I'm thinking, I mean, at least an extra 100 bucks. I'm in a wicked bind, so all right, I'll, I'll do 100. This really works. Wait, OK. got to get him here, man. All right, man, well, I'll see you soon. Easy. Good, you're clear. These will be there on time and safe. That's what we like to hear. Perfect, just like Roy. I can do this job better than any of them. I think the convention in Vegas would be pretty cool, just seeing all the costumes. So I think we're about to pull over and uh, check on everything. The wood is shifting around. Just crazy. It's way too heavy. Just cock out in here. There's no way to really get it secure with everything underneath it that's worth something. If I don't do something about this pointless crate, it's going to damage Houston Star Trek Bridge. Pulling this wood out right now. Top of this crate, it's got to go. You want some free lumber by chance? Like a pallet? You might want to come take a look at it. This slab. Yeah, I'll take it. Sweet. You spend it any way you want, Jersey boy. Fact is, you just gave away part of your customer ship. It's not worth risking the Star Trek stuff for $100 worth of plywood. All right, so we're rolling into Vegas. The deadline is here. Houston's MIA, but we need to get in and get this thing unloaded fast because we still have another shipment to drop off. Lay it down here. Here you go, guys. We'll give you all this one. All we got to do is slide everything else back into place. Yay! Oh, there he is. If you want to do an inspection so we can uh, get this rolling. I really hope Paul's crate didn't damage this Star Trek bridge. Yeah, it looks good. Awesome. And here is your money. Appreciate it. Well, you enjoy your convention. We're getting on the road. All right. Peace Live out. long and prosper. He's such a little nerd. I'm right on schedule. Just got to plow on through. Can't even stop to pee. That's how Mark would do it, right? Apple juice. Jared, don't drink that. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, that's tight. Holy We are just a couple miles from Burbank where we are about to get paid for this TARDIS. We're ahead of schedule and this thing's on wheels. This is easy money. How we doing, Paul? Good, good. Looking forward to seeing my baby. Mm. All right, awesome. She looks good. Well, I guess we should probably get her out and get her tested, right? Damn straight, let's get me paid. Hey, Chris? Yes? I'm concerned with the crate. Pieces are missing. We had to toss it. That crate is really important to me. I have a convention coming up in the next week that I'm going to need that crate for. So you've really put me in a very uncomfortable compromising position because it needs to be rebuilt. 
I just hauled his priceless TARDIS 2,000 miles with not a scratch on it. You got rid of some of my property. All he wants to talk about is a piece of plywood. In order to keep that Enterprise bridge from potential devastation and looking like it was actually on the Star Wars set when it got blown up. Star Trek. I don't give a shit. The only viable option was to remove the lumber. You tell me why, if we stacked up the other pieces here, you would have more space. There's you would no have... way to tie anything down to your lumber. I don't think you understand it. There's but this points. conversation is rapidly coming to an end. Christopher. You can either pay me the money and we'll get this out, or I'll go put it all on black and we'll double it up in Vegas. How in the hell did that just happen? It was strapped down. <sighs> Stupid pumpkins. I've got to find another giant pumpkin and quick. I can't be late. Find a giant pumpkin. I mean, is every pumpkin patch going to have giant pumpkins like that? God, have a big pumpkin. Hell yeah. I hope that thing's for sale. Hey, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good, I'm actually just wondering, I really need to buy that giant pumpkin you have out front. Is it for sale? Um, no, it's not. It's not? It's not. Hmm, what would Jen do? Maybe he'll give it to me for free. <laughs> He's a pro. Look at that, will it be free? <sighs> hmm, they sure do have a pretty girl working out at a farm like this, don't they? It's not for sale. Gotta be some way I can get that. I'll be right back. <sighs> What's your deal, man? I, I just, I really got to have that big pumpkin out front. You take 200 for it, man? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you very much. Maybe you were just flirting with the wrong person. If we can get that loaded up, that'd be great. There we go. All right, she's good. <laughs> hey, man, thank you so much. I had no problem, man. It's kind of a pretty pumpkin. If there is such a thing. In order to get this off my trailer and into your possession, I will need to be paid in full you know, before it even leaves the trailer. OK. Option one, you deduct some money for my expenses. Option two, I pay you in full, and you hear from my attorneys. I'll take option two. There's only one option. We ship it, get paid in full. That's how this operation works. Because I'm a man of my word, this is the money that we agreed on. Let's get this thing off the trailer. Take care. Take care. Good job, Chris. Another satisfied customer. That is just way more stressful than it needed to be. I've replaced a giant pumpkin. I'm pretty proud of that. I'm on time. The load is intact for the most part. Nothing's stopping me now. Ben, how's it going? Yeah, Ren. I made it. Man, good work. Where does it need to go? We're going to back up between those two buildings. All right. Please don't notice the pumpkin I replaced. You see any fruit flies around these things? No, I didn't see any. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at this. It's nicked. Tomorrow morning, this is going to be all black fuzz and mold. I promise you they were there when I picked it up, because I got, I got pictures of them. So I think this may be the only time I'll ever be glad I thought like Roy. I got to deal with the farmer on that one. Yeah. <laughs> this really works. I, the pink one I recognize, and these three, this one, I, I don't think that's my pumpkin. It's not your pumpkin. You know, Jared just can't be anyone other than Jared. One of them actually flew off of the trailer, so I had to do everything I could to find another big pumpkin like that. I mean, this one is a whole lot prettier than the other one, though. It's yeah. not my pumpkin. Yeah. Can we work out something here? Be strong, be strong. No deal. I'm not going to take a deduction on it. Yeah. I'm so strapped for time right now. It's not even worth the argument with okay. you. Okay, if you can just sign that right there, and I'll take my money and I'll get out of your hair. This is like a new world for me, a world where I don't lose money. Here's the money for the pumpkins. You drive a hard bargain, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you. Jared. 
Jarrett was paid $1,400. After expenses, including a replacement pumpkin, he drove away with $947 for a day's work. Chris and Robbie did even better. They took in $4,900 for the Star Trek bridge and Doctor Who TARDIS. After expenses, they walked away with $3,700 for a four-day run. I think we're going to head back through Vegas on the way home. Let's go get our trek on. Everybody hold on. Holy cow. That is impressive. I have to say, I've never had a pumpkin made in my likeness. <laughs> that pumpkin is really, really good looking. Get ready to witness some amazing ship. Come on, Mama. We got a deadline. Shipping Wars is back and bigger than ever. Only on A&E.